hi everyone welcome to my channel guys in today's video i'm going to teach you how to design a youtube thumbnail that stands out and grabs viewers attention if you are coming across my channel for the first time you are welcome to the family i'm golden ig and i make tutorial videos on non-coding tech skills and video editing and in today's video i'm going to teach you a simple way to design a youtube thumbnail in canva app in less than three minutes uploading videos on youtube requires planning whenever you want to upload on youtube the first thing you should do is to choose a title after you've chosen a title design your thumbnail because it is the thumbnail and your title that will attract someone scrolling through youtube to click on your video this might not be true for large youtubers because there are people that have already grown their followers on youtube so whatever they put out there their videos will still get viewed people will still watch it but for new youtubers you need to put in a lot of work your thumbnail should stand out your title should be superb for you to always attract people to view your, your video the first thing your youtube thumbnail should spark curiosity People should be able to come across your YouTube thumbnail and want to know more. If there is no curiosity, if it does not spark that curiosity, it will just be common. They will just scroll by and they won't even notice your video or your channel. So, so the first thing is that it should spark curiosity. The next one is that it should pass the grand test. For your YouTube thumbnail to pass the grand test, use a clear font. Do not use cursive. Avoid using tiny fonts. Do not cross start the thumbnail with write-ups and images. There should be a focal point. If, if the eye has to stop to search for what is happening on your thumbnail, it no longer passes the grand test avoid repeating your title or your thumbnail show emotions if you can there should be contrast between the background color and your font color they shouldn't be the same the font color should complement the background color so so as to make your thumbnail stand out having learned all these let's go over to canva app to design the youtube thumbnail proper but before we do that, I will appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and engage on my video by liking the video and commenting so that YouTube will suggest the video to other people. For me to design a YouTube thumbnail, the first thing I will do is to open Canva app. Click on this plus sign and then YouTube thumbnail. It will open to a custom size thumbnail canva already have custom size for youtube which is 16.9 it will display on the screen if you already know how to use canva you can design from the scratch you can upload your own background do everything yourself but if you are a beginner and you don't know how to use canva there is no need to panic because it already has YouTube uh, thumbnails already designed there, so you can use you can just choose anyone and edit it. So for me to choose from YouTube, from for me to choose a YouTube thumbnail from the Canva templates, I'll click on design and see different designs that they have already. Because I'm a free user, I cannot access these ones that is written pro because it is a paid plan so i can choose from these ones i like this background this is the one i want to use just delete this picture because i don't want it expand this one that is what i want to use i will upload the picture that i want to use again because i'm a free user i will not be able to remove the background of my picture on canva 
what I will do is I will go to my browser and use BG background remover or focal creeping to remove the background. Let's go and do it. BG remover. Background remover. Upload the image. Choose the image you like. Then upload. upload. Click on download to download to your phone. Then I will go over to Canva. I will have to import the photo that I just removed the background into Canva app. Click on Garali and look for the photo. See it. This is the one I previously downloaded and this is the recent one. Then expand it. I can give my picture shadow. To, do, to give it a shadow, click on effects and the shadow. Choose the shadow you like and then double click. Choose the shadow color. Remember, I'm trying to achieve something like this. The next thing is to import my, my CapCut logo because I've already downloaded it and used it in my previous design. I will just go to my upload and look for it. Select the CapCut logo. Reduce to the size you like it. The next thing I will do is to insert the white background so as to make that logo stand out. My background for the thumbnail is already dark, so I wouldn't leave a dark image on top of it like that without making it look distinct. So to do that, I'll go to elements, I'll click out, go to elements and select a shape. See the shape I want to use. Change the background color of the shape. I want to change it to white. Place it a step backwards. To do that, highlight the shape, scroll to position, click on it, then backwards. The next thing I will do is to now start imputing my test. To do that, click on test, choose the one you want, then write what you want to. Then I want to write cap cuts. Let me choose font size. After you must have increased your font size, the next thing is to choose your font. That's font, the font type. I'll click on font. Then select the font I want to use. Carry it up. Zoom effect, then let's style it. I want to place this effect on top of this rectangle, so I will have to highlight it holding it and send it a bit backwards and then change the color that's what i want to do now then change the font color of that test i will also change the font style Position it well. Did you notice that even if without adding any other thing to this thumbnail that it is ready and immediately someone sees it, the person will know what I'm talking about. But then if I want to push it up a little bit more, let me just add that CapCut interface.
you can now download it and add it to your youtube video to download it i will just click on this arrow then download